concerning shooters here, blue collar prepping. Last week we talked about using cotton balls and petroleum jelly and toilet paper rolls as a quick, fun little way to reuse some wasteful items. Uh, to getting you know kids and everyone into prepping and also they make neat little fire starter kits. So when we posted that on Facebook, someone made the comment dryer lint, so we even cut our cost down even more. Now dryer lint's not as dense, and there's you know there's human hair in it and a few other things that may not be as flammable as cotton, but it's also free. So I've grabbed some dryer lint out of my dryer. I mean, because who doesn't have that? I've used the same petroleum jelly, and you know the proof is in the showing, as they say. So. What today we're going to do, in a minute I'm going to turn on my vent fan because we're inside, it's threatening to rain. And I'm going to cheat, I'm going to use a lighter and a good old cast iron firing pan. And we're going to see how easy they light and see how long they burn for. So we'll make an evaluation then. Forgot my handy dandy big lighter. Okay, first, this is a cotton ball from last week. We're going to put that right in there. You can see that, stands up real good. And then... Some dryer lint, it's about half the size, it's not as dense, and you know, it's black, so it's very difficult to see. We're gonna start the dryer lint first, so you can see that. So now it's taking a second to get lit, as you can see. It's kind of bright. Oops. Okay. And we're gonna spin that around. I get to the, as you can see, dryer lint and a little petroleum jelly, that burns pretty bright. It took a second for it to catch, but it's going pretty well. So now over here, this is where the cotton ball's at. I'm gonna light that, same lighter. That one, I didn't even get the flame touching it yet, and just the sparks, and it caught the cotton ball that soaked in petroleum jelly on fire. So that's very interesting. So maybe next week what we'll do is we'll take some little hands and some flint and some steel and we'll see how a kid can do in a survival situation of building a nice little fire and getting it caught on fire without actually using a lighter. You know, in the society that we live in, people frown upon miners having lighters in their kit, even though everybody should have a small lighter and some duct tape. But no one ever knows flint and tender, so we'll see if we can pull off on that. Also, we might throw in some tools there. We we're coming up again, like I said a couple weeks ago, on uh, yard sale season. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to spin this back around again. Here, this is the lint. It's still burning pretty good. Now, granted, it's half the size. It took a little harder to get started. But it's already starting to peter out. Now, granted, it burned for about 10 or 15 seconds before, or it was lit, you know, before the cotton ball. But look at that cotton ball. Look how bright that is and how complete that flame is. As Again, a lot of it has to do with density and surface area. It's a lot more dense. They have a lot more surface area. Now, if we were to take a bunch of lint and compact it down and compact it down and press it like they do with cotton balls, we'd probably have some similar results. So now we're working on a good 40 seconds, almost a minute here for the, for the lint, and about 15 seconds less for the cotton ball. So, actually, there's not all that much appreciable difference. Smother that out. No fire alarms. So, there you have it. Though I didn't like how the cotton ball, it burned a little brighter, and it also lit very, very easily as opposed to the ball of lint. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish, and I'm going to grab a bunch of lint. I'm going to try and compact it and try to make it as dense as possible and fill up a uh, toilet paper tube with it so we're ready to go for the little hands trial next week out in the backyard until then you know like our videos on facebook as well as on youtube be good be safe can't be safe be good and dangerous <laughs>